Welcome to episode 24 of Ketchup with Max and Jose. And I bet you didn't think you'd see us so soon, but I was so excited with this latest Tasting History episode on ketchup ah. that I had to just do another episode so soon. And on top of that, I really just kind of want to talk about um, your surprise announcement. So that's what we're talking about today. Awesome. Quickly, I do want to say that I was hurt that you didn't actually mention this channel on your latest episode, and I'm sure other people, my devout followers, devout, uh, will notice. But uh, to your credit, um, I hadn't posted anything. <laughs> I had said six months. It was actually eight months. Eight months. And so... you know, at that point, because Max, you film ahead, right? Like try yeah. to film a few weeks ahead when possible. Um, so at that point you hadn't posted anything and I had thought about it, but it's like, it's kind of weird for me to ask you to say something when I haven't posted anything on my dead channel. Wouldn't really work. But we're back. I'm trying to post. Um, yes. it was, I, I kind of had a good time. I really enjoyed, uh, all the positive reaction from everyone. So thank you for yeah. all the love and support and just makes me feel nice. <laughs> and this one will be even better. <laughs> um, but yeah, so the episode the ketchup episode i hope you've watched it and if you haven't yes. go to the main go channel. watch it uh we're hoping people love it i was i was doing subtitles because if you're new to this channel i update the english subtitles and i was like oh this is a really good episode and thank you <laughs> i don't always say that so he um, does not <laughs> that's uh, why when he does i know oh okay i'm very unfortunately it's like after i've done it so it doesn't really matter I'm, I'm very quiet and serious it's like <laughs> this episode's too long let's hurry up and finish these subtitles though sometimes that can also be because it's really long yeah but but you know since which thought, this one was i'd be like hey this this episode's amazing or that was a fun fact and i'll shout it from across the room but he doesn't always get that but anyway, is, is there anything in this catch episode that, that you got cut that wasn't mentioned, or because it's a long episode, so you crammed a lot. It's yeah, it's over twenty minutes. Um, I mean, a lot got cut actually. Um, most of it was just other types of ketchup. I think I named probably a dozen or more. You mentioned oyster ketchup, but at some point I was just like oyster walnut, walnut which was Jane Austen's <clears throat> favorite. Yeah. How did you know that, or were, were you researching at some point? I was. You know I was beforehand? researching it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and but then there were some a lot of other ones wine ketchup and just tons wine? yeah ketchup? there were dozens and dozens of them so i couldn't put them all uh. um one thing that i regret not putting in there is all of the spellings of ketchup that i found mm. because i didn't write them down while i was doing the research which happens yeah. um and then when i went back to to edit and i put them on the screen i was like where did I see, Where did that, you see that weird spelling? Where did I mean, you cite it? Yeah. One of them had a Q in it. I mean, there were so many crazy, crazy spellings. Um, so that's a regret. And then, and then some some more modern like twentieth century ketchup stuff. At a point, it just starts to to blend into well, now this is happening now, and yeah, yeah. So I kind of cut it at Heinz making modern ketchup, yeah. and 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 I think that that's the right place to cut it. And something interesting that we tried this time is because lately you've been releasing an episode and since you're back on TikTok, it's like, here's a new episode. Back on and TikTok. a day later, it's <clears throat> here is kind of a cut down for the people who are not on TikTok trying to bring in a new audience. This time we kind of did it as a teaser, which I think was cool. So yeah. hopefully, because you had some people commenting, it's like, oh, you didn't even talk about this. It's like, but wait, just wait, it's coming. Just wait. <laughs> and it's here. Yeah. And I um, mean, honestly, though, that is one of the frustrating things with TikTok, which I, I am remem remembering one of the reasons why I got off um, is you can't, it's so hard to put context around something. It's so hard to put all of the information that you want to put in a 60 second video. Um, so of course I didn't cover the extent of ketchup history in 60 seconds yeah. and, and people are like, well, you didn't do, and hang on. Um, and I get that with every single yeah, TikTok. It happens so all the time. Like, it, it, just in general, like, oh, your video didn't mention uh, Even this. in videos, yeah, in full videos. It's like uh, books are written on these things. Yeah, so. for sure. And yeah, and so I, I have been posting these, which are TikTok videos on this channel uh, as a sh uh, YouTube shorts. Yeah. So um, you can check them out uh, since, and sort of a handful since you've been back. So yeah, trying to do one, if not two, a week. Yeah inconsistent but um back to this latest episode on ketchup besides being the name of this channel uh 
I was also excited because so much of it reminds me of Garum, which is what put you on the map. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm not saying I'm hoping it has the same effect, but I'm hoping the you know ketchup being so well known and kind of I don't want to say pop culture, but it's like yeah, everyone uh, needs ketchup, right, yeah. or some form of it. And just knowing that yeah. it has this deep, rich history going to like the Asian countries and you know and becoming what it eventually became. Yeah. Someone left a really big, uh, great comment, which was like. You know, the tomato ketchup was like the last version because, like, from there you don't mess with perfection, like. Right. But as we tried on this channel last year, I actually made you t taste test a bunch of uh, different varieties. Sriracha right? ketchup, <laughs> but the <laughs> banana spicy. ketchup. Though I don't know if the banana ketchup is is newer than tomato. I, I honestly don't know. Yeah. Um, I and didn't then, come across. And then with all the ketchups. now that I'm thinking about it, so, since there's so many varieties, like what actually is the definition of a ketchup? Is there like a? I mean, it, it, it's a, not like a, saying according a, to the 17th century uh, slang dictionary, it is an was it an Eastern sauce or a rich Eastern sauce or something like that. I mean, the the definitions didn't ever really make a sense. Yeah, and they would use the term synonymously with sauce sometimes as long as it was an interesting sauce as, sometimes they would use it synonymous with synonymously with soy sauce they would use soy sauce synonymously with other things it was a mess and so i don't know what the definition is mm. well there somebody you get go. the dictionary <laughs> and put it down scroll it on the bottom what's the webster's dictionary definition i'll, I'll look it up i'll <clears> put a <throat> screenshot um but yeah so again ketchup uh episode Check it out. Yeah, white ketchup. Though I wouldn't have made white ketchup in retrospect. I would have made a different ketchup. <laughs> it looked like sewer water. <laughs> yeah, because I expected white ketchup to be like a mayo, white. like a mayo, right? Like a ranch um, and sauce. it's only white once you add in add it to the white sauce, which you're supposed to do. But that's kind of kind of misleading. Um, so I probably would have made one of the other many interesting. And ones. definitely going back to that garum time back in the old apartment where you were making garum there was a fishy smell in the sink and i was just yes like, not as bad not as, as bad garum, but, but it was rough. it was there you know the cats were having yeah. a field day uh, or at least yeah, jamie was, was. um <laughs> okay so moving past the ketchup to the tasting history cookbook cover reveal um so i've been working on this gosh for a year and a, a half year plus yeah yeah i think like it was a year and a half yeah i think i actually announced it almost a year and a half ago and um and a really you know i really really buckled down about 15 months ago mm -hmm. last summer i was going all through the fall and with tons and tons of help from my patreon patrons who i had i think probably a hundred if not more test the recipes that's right and so thank you <clears throat> so to so everyone helpful. who watches his channel and who watches his channel i mean yeah. you've been super helpful uh, obviously just the amount of work that he doesn't have to do on that yeah I, yeah <laughs> well and you know you can hire recipe testers a lot of cookbook authors hire recipe testers and i was like i don't need to because i had so many people not only willing but wanting to to make them so it was perfect and the nice thing is when you hire a recipe tester they you know are at a high level yeah, of they're skill pros and everything and they know what they're doing whereas here i had people all through the game and i had pro chefs all the way down to the home baker to i had a couple of people who were like this is the first thing i've ever made um so that's me you know helping to write the recipes yeah super helpful so thank you for <clears> the, was that both that was of us. Yeah. mainly him because it's his book and not mine but <laughs> so but still it's yeah no fantastic so when is it out it is out april 25th 2023 Ooh. and uh, if you can see here at the bottom it says with Anne Folkbein so um, she is a recipe writer really I mean that's like she does a lot of things she actually does some wonderful history books on the history of, of different areas of New York and stuff but one thing that she does is works with chefs which I'm not but people who cook um, in creating formatting the recipes because a lot of times you know she's worked with guy fieri and some big names and you know people bring i put this and this and then boom it's done she's like okay we've got to write this out in this format using these words to make it easily follow followable uh for most people and she was just yeah 
such a help um, because it is an art form and one that I have no time nor desire to learn. So yeah. <clears throat> uh, here's something interesting. The cover is real. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it's a real book, but these are actually not. This is somebody else's cookbook. <laughs> this is a different um, cookbook. So yeah, we, look at the back. We just, yeah, we just, they, it's just like a mock, right? It's a mock. Uh, so the, the publisher sent me this for the, for the cover reveal rather than just using like a, a picture of the cover because it has a little, yeah. a little weight. Um, but obviously the book hasn't been printed. It's not coming out for nine months. It's still in the editing phase. So yeah. um, but we're getting there. And uh, what's fantastic is that. We, we actually saw a few versions like we saw like a dark version and like this is kind of what we settled on yeah that was i gave feedback <laughs> my, my favorite part of the whole process has been the um the the getting all of the the cover art and like getting to, to decide and giving feedback and everything as well as the layout you know everything from what does you know what font to use and how big are the columns? All of that we, we got to, to weigh in on. Um, granted, there are people who do this for a living who are doing it. So yeah. I, I, often I was like, well, you know you know best. But sometimes yeah. I had an actual opinion. Uh, and, I, and he always has an opinion. I, I have, always have an opinion. Yeah. I won't always express it, but I have it. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> and I know when he has it. And uh, <laughs> you shared some pictures with me some months ago. And I'm actually impressed. And I'm starting to feel like it's a QVC commercial. It's like, <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. But this is just kind no. Of like it that. is available for pre-order if you haven't. Uh, we'll put a link in the description. Wherever or Amazon, what or did it say? Wherever, Barnes and Noble, or oh, wherever yeah. fine books are sold. Yeah. Um, uh, I. But the other thing that I loved was the photo shoot. Yeah. No. The photo shoot was fantastic. Um, yeah. Max, you shared some uh, pictures on your Instagram some time ago the food photo shoot that you did with some great people that were helping making and photographing and over how many days did you do it was it two or three days was, or was I it a week it was five it was five days i think four or five um the coolest thing was and people have been like oh my gosh did you make all those did you style them no i didn't do anything except for watch and give direction and be like yeah do this you know and take notes i took copious notes not only on the photography because you learned a lot. I learned a ton mm -hmm. um, on on lighting. I think already my the photos that I've had for the um, for tasting history have improved in just the last few few months. They're not professional, but they have <laughs> improved. Um, you know, having other things in, in the Definitely. shot and everything. Yeah. Um, but also watching these cooks and and food stylists. First of all, they're super fast. I mean, they did like 40 dishes 35 dishes something like that in in five days and it was nuts um but i got to learn i mean these are professionals and so you know when they had an issue with a recipe i knew it was an issue and luckily we didn't have that many but but there were a few times where they were like maybe you should say it this way or actually this isn't clear because you know what size of whatever is in it so Learned a lot from and, that. And that's part of the thing. It's like you're taking, you're adapting recipes, which are not recipes in a modern format, which are, could right. just be someone writing down on, a, you know, somewhere yeah. in a different language. And, you know, like, so I think that's what's most exciting that you yeah. condensed all this historical information into a book. Yeah, because it's not just the recipes. It's also each recipe comes with some history, um, of course, because it's tasting history. Mm -hmm. Um, and that, that was always a, an issue with the publisher because it was like, is this a cookbook or is this a history book? And I, I, yeah, I always actually lean toward the history mm -hmm. book, but they're very cookbook. So there was always this like kind of, kind of tug of war going on. Um, yeah. Cause when people but, ask me, it's like, what's, what's <clears throat> Max's, your husband's channel about? It's like, uh, it's a history channel. Yeah. But I never it's say it's a, a cooking channel. I always say it's, it's a history it's channel a where food I make channel, food. channel too, I guess. Yeah. So it's food history, but really it's history. So yeah. Because, um, I mean, I make the food, but you say cooking channel and people think, oh, you're a great chef. I'm like, yeah, I'm like he don't cook I dinner. fell <laughs> into the, to the, to the cookbook. <laughs> All of these recipes are, are well yeah. executed. Um, I mean, some of them are things like hard tack and kicking on. So, and again, but. I think the only times when either of us are cooking, besides when you're cooking for the channel, are when we're making the HelloFresh <laughs> recipes. Which is which I love <laughs> um, doing that, but it's, but yeah. yeah, any other night I'm like... I don't want to just order. We're yes. so lazy. Um, that's part of the problem. We're just 
we're just lazy. Yeah. We're tired. We're tired. Um, um, but yeah, so... So actually now I'm cooking a lot with the new diet that I'm doing. Uh, yeah, yeah. And by cooking, I mean heating things up. You usually mean like dust packets. It's really yeah. sad. <laughs> anyway, it's so... Limited time. So yeah, so, that, so that's a book. Um, is there anything like... You mentioned that there are recipes in there that you haven't actually done episodes on but yeah, they're coming so, right so or... there are like 10 ep uh, 10 new recipes that will be turned into episodes um so yeah it'll like be leading up to the launch and a little bit after the launch too um and one of the cool things is we didn't use any of those like gimmicks of um you know a lot of the food stylists do a lot of gimmicks of you know painting food mm, and like actual those color. I do or... like those videos. <clears throat> yeah, no, it's really cool. But we didn't do any of that for these. Um, they were able to do every dish um, without any of that. The, the closest thing would be that um, sometimes things would like fall and whatever, so we would have to like prop them up. Okay, that's fine. Um, but, but all of the food was food, which was, which was something okay, that so I Okay, so it's liked. not like... Oh, this ball of ice cream is nope. It was actually ice cream, <laughs> and let me tell you, it was it was rough because the lights were bright. So we would and the the parmesan ice cream melts quickly anyway. Yes, yeah. So it was like they would freeze it down, and then it was like, here, take the picture. Okay, put it back. It was nuts. <laughs> it was fun. That's fantastic. Honestly, I'm really proud of you that you've done this. And me who can too. like how many people can say they have a published book outside of Arthur's and people who are published? Uh, so <laughs> I'm never gonna have a book out there. Don't say that. I wouldn't have thought I would have had one two years ago. I'm saying it because I don't. I don't plan on having a book after seeing all the work that you put in. That's also true. It is a lot of work. No thanks. <laughs> it's I'm a lot good. Of work. Um, you know, Passion I'll, I'll focus on other things like um, you know, work and the gardening. Uh, yes. So, uh, pivoting quickly, I guess that's that's a transition. Uh, <laughs> we went to see Thor: uh, Love and Thunder, which. We enjoyed. Um, it's an adaptation of my favorite Thor storyline uh, with Gore the God Butcher uh, from Jason Aaron, and I think you should go check it out. And yeah, it's good. It's not Thor Ragnarok. It's not Thor Ragnarok. Sure. Uh, but it has Taika Waititi, so it has this, a lot of the same elements. Um, my favorite part are the goats, uh, Tooth Fairy yeah. and Tooth Nasher. Screaming goats. Uh, everyone loves screaming goats, so go check it out. And also, the finale for Miss Marvel was this week. Uh, so yeah, it was really good. I actually got really into like. Because it's the Miss Marvel series deals with the 1940s partition of India and Pakistan, and I didn't know anything about it. I mean, I knew that it happened, but I didn't know anything I, behind I it. I didn't and know about it. I think the closest was Beyonce's song, but um, I don't even yeah. know about that. So <laughs> I've been trying to learn to learn more about it. Um, but even the show itself, it's it's really well done. In that, and... I think it's in the last episode or the next last episode. It gives you a wonderful very you know cursory history of what happened and why it happened and stuff and it just makes you want to go at least me makes me want to go like read a whole book on the subject so <laughs> it's sad it's it's actually a, a really sad period but yeah. but fascinating i think for me i'm just kind of proud that they were willing to like just tell the story mm -hmm. and in this way and really support it and just the amount of artwork that's coming out of this the series so I haven't seen the finale, so I'm right there with you, and I hope it really like, you know, knocks it out of the park. Um, oh so. yeah, it's not in the finale because we haven't seen it. Yeah. <laughs> um, but um, <clears throat> also coming up, uh, oh, digital artists. I, there are two, a few digital artists that I follow because of all these campaigns, and there's a lot of hardworking, really talented digital artists. So one of the early ones that I started following, was, he's a French artist. He does a lot of pop culture, but he also does this really fun unique art his name is julian so i'll put their socials somewhere uh and then samir also does he doesn't have a big following but i i think he's really talented so uh also he's also on twitter so check out some of their fun art but yeah um and lastly because i just realized time flew by like 20, time did fly by 20 minutes almost. oh my goodness that's crazy uh, if I don't edit it down, uh, <laughs> try not to because it's faster if I don't. So, and talk about editing. I'm so sorry about the sound issues from the last one. I hear my voice is very loud in my head. It was a speak. Let's say it was a speaker and issue. So I'll try and get a lot higher. This I time will listen around. to it before he posts this time. And be like, <laughs> so, what are you up? So sorry for everyone. Uh, I'm so all loud the audio too. issues. Yeah, he talks a lot in my head. He's shouting, and I feel like I'm shouting right now. Just a very to distinct be voice. Heard. Um, 
but yeah, so I've been doing a lot of gardening. So after I posted that video, I had actually already done a ton of plants. I've been on, I think it's pronounced Logis. Uh, they have a wonderful store in Connecticut and also online. They sell really, uh, they sell, sell some rare, unique plants. And we've been getting said rare, <laughs> so and I mean, they're growing inside our new greenhouse. No, no. So this that's, is not a greenhouse. that's separate. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, so... We have a lot of plants inside right now. They sent me... Well, Seeds. I, they sent me... I bought. Growing. I bought a bunch of unique plants. Um, Kelnine jasmine, winter jasmine, unique uh, hibiscus called the path, more bougainvillea, which is more common, but, like, there's so much more coming, so... I'll be posting updates in the next episodes. But kind of what a jungle I, back there. I got a whole I got beautiful a, jungle. Though. I got a box and I was like, oh wow, one plant arrived ahead. And it's like, oh, they were all in there because they were still kind of pretty small. But they were, but they were really, really well, well packaged. packaged. <laughs> like you wouldn't like even know that they shape were in a box for a few the days. Country. Yeah, because you leave anything in a box, especially a plant, you yeah. think it's gonna die and dehydrate and like nope. It was fan fantastic. Fantastic. So yeah. everyone working <laughs> over there. Great job. I recommend it. Um, and yeah, so you were talking about the greenhouse. It's not a greenhouse. I, I, I did buy about 20 uh, seedling trays. So there's like 12 cells in each one. So I have about 240 different cells with over 50 different seeds from herbs like Lovage and... I don't know. Uh, Forage. Melissa. Melissa. Crazy things. Cosmos. And like... That. Within like forty eight hours, three days, like half of them have already sprouted, which is crazy. So well, but so he has like heat pads under, heat and then pad. he has these lights over it, so it the kind of looks lights. like we're growing. I need more growing lights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got a few. It's like I'm not, no, it's like I'm. You but know, it's not. It's actual herbs. I'm just you know the gardening bug bit me, and I don't know how long it's gonna last. So I might be over it in a month. I don't know. Um, Better not. <laughs> Because <laughs> it's really hard to plant right to now. Because <laughs> it's really hot, so I've been moving yeah, plants really around. Like I plant the plant, and the next day it's like, oh yeah, like let's get this baby in yeah. the shade. <clears throat> um, but you know, so I'm doing a lot of pruning. I did find a uh, uh, praying mantis uthica, which is uh, the egg. Show a picture. Sack. Nobody's yeah. gonna know what that is. It is scary looking. It yeah, looks like something creepy. out of Aliens. I would have. Like I would have killed it and burnt it if I had not. If With a flamethrower, right? Was. Like just yeah, but um. I and that explains the praying mantises that we do have. We have tons. We've, we've seen a few, and yeah. uh, I still have a few ladybugs. Yes, we released some ladybugs a few weeks ago, like in the evening. And next day, there was like a few. <laughs> we had like hundreds, and next most day, there was them, just like most of them were like, or just hiding out there. I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah, but um. As we started winding down, is there anything like coming up that I, I think you already have one episode in the bag? Like, can you quickly say what it's about? <clears throat> Medieval manners. Um, it's another long one, and there is so much that I left out of this. So much so that I'm actually making an entire different video um, on on a an adjacent subject because I just I took out like six pages worth of stuff. Um, I haven't seen the video, but I did review the script or kind of like the outline of what it is. And there's a lot of fun facts that have to do yeah, with it's fun. burping and flatulence, which yeah. is like, this should be a great episode. So I'm actually looking forward to it's, it's a lot to of fun. launching it. And um, yeah. yeah, and then I'm working on my first Byzantine episode, long time in the making, and, and it's finally happening. And then I'm truly, really, I'm truly, I'm really trying to get ahead of things because I'm going to Scotland in a month and want videos to be able to come out while I'm there. Plus I have to write the videos that I'm going there to film. So the next six weeks, nobody talked to me. I'm going to be very busy. Yeah. He's been working every day to yeah. be honest. So it's, it's really, like, it's, it's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot, but, but well, luckily I love it. So. It'll be worth it. And you're your own boss. I'm my own. Yeah. I got nobody to blame but myself. <laughs> so. And you guys for watching him. So, yeah. so thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Keeps him out of my hair. <clears throat> um, I think for future episodes of, catch up with Max and Jose. Um, let us know what you kind of want to see more. I feel like, yeah, I like, as I just stand here looking around, I think I kind of want to give a tour, like have, have you clean up a little bit better. We're <laughs> still like unpacking. That's on you. We I have, have enough not furniture. hung a single frame and yeah. I need to. I think the only thing you put up was a cuckoo clock and your YouTube awards. Um, and the Lego Titanic. And that's Lego not Titanic. really hung up. We, yeah, so. you kind of just went, but um, I do want to, 
you know, like let people kind of see the space, like where the magic happens. Yes, and, where I work yeah. all day. And I'll show you my space when I finally get some more work up. Uh, and where Jamie sleeps. And where Jamie sleeps, which is usually my feet. But um, yeah, leave your comments and like and subscribe. And thank you so much. Uh, you know, it's a great time just having reading all the positive comments. And I got to pay the cat tax real quick. So do a little number here while I step da, away. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. Oh, is he down there? Is he sleeping? Oh, no, he's not. He so asleep. my favorite thing to do, it's terrible. My favorite thing to do is to wake Jamie up. One, because he wakes up us up in the morning. So, yes. But two, hey, back, baby. he makes the cutest little sounds when you wake him he up. He groans. It's like, it's it's kind of, just, or he's covering his face. It's like, so uh, cute. Like, so the poor guy, I wake him up like six times a day. <laughs> but he also sleeps a lot. so it's like He does, and he goes right back to sleep. It's not like... Say hi, Jamie. All right. I don't think he's having it. Sorry, friends. <laughs> we'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>